UK Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. First of all, we are opening the Firefox application. Okay, and here, uh, our browser got uh, find element. Uh, here, sorry, first you have to open the application, right? We are just opening the browser here, and no browser dot get, and here we have to give the application uh, URL okay. now here uh, basically once we, this application is open okay we want to click on this uh, choose files so it will get a pop up window so I am spying this particular object so it has an ID ID and this is the ID once we are entry we are going to click on it okay. so till this point we know how to open and how to click on that after we click on this open basically uh, we are getting this uh, pop up right we are getting this particular pop up here okay so now here uh, basically we want to enter this file name here part of the file here and then we have to click on open so we have a already we built a script here now we have to uh, uh, make use of the script here. So if you want to execute any uh, any external uh, file, uh, if you want to execute any external file in Java here, okay, you have something called Process Builder. There is a class called Process Builder. Okay, here I am creating the uh, instance for that. And here basically we have to give the part of that particular file here. Okay. I mean uh, the part of the this particular execution executable file here. Okay. One minute I like to close. I like to minimize this. Dot exe. Okay. So here, if you want to execute any external uh, file in here in Java, like even you can execute some bad files, okay, those files you can execute using this process builder. Now here, it just created the instance. Now there is something called class dot start. So which uh, which basically starts the uh, execution here. Okay. Here it seems uh, this uh, exception. Okay, if this file is not, if this executable file is not there, it is a, obviously it is an error, right? So that is a reason I will exception. Okay. So now if we execute this, basically uh, it has to open this Zemzer, uh, and then it has to click on the choose files. Then uh, it has to execute this particular uh, executable file that just now we have created. Okay. Basically, when we execute any executable file, basically make sure your antivirus is some kind of uh, off. So here I am uh, going here. I am saying disable for 10 minutes. Because uh, we, are, we are basically trying to execute a 
uh, some executive executable file from the Java. So it is it is kind of it is uh, treating that it's kind of a uh, some virus. Okay, I just uh, disable the uh, antivirus for uh, for for a while. So far, we are able to use this site. Right? Okay. I have used at the class level. Now, I'll try to exhibit this. Let me close this. Now see here it is opening this particular application. We would write the maximums. See so I am doing the maximums. Oh, sorry. Can you all of there? It has been uploaded this particular file. Okay. So here it is at attached to this abc dot abc dot jpg and here it is success. Okay. Basically, here here is the concept. So it's very simple. Uh, see, here. I just mentioned the part of the variable here, part of the uh, uh, part of the file, and here uh, uh, we have given the uh, title of the window, and here uh, this is the control ID of that particular text box, and this is the control ID of the the particular open. Okay, the same thing has been written in the function also. See, here this is a, a, a elaborated function. But it's kind of uh, here you can pass some arguments like what are the uh, title, uh, what is the title of the window, and what is the path of the file. Okay, you can use this function also. Okay, say if you if you want to use this function here in this case, you have to pass two two arguments here. Okay, here in this process process builder, basically it is going to accept multiple values. So here you can pass uh, the path of the file. What are the uh, what are the Okay, here mm. yep. Here we can pass the path of the file, I mean which file uh, that we want to upload and here we have to pass the uh, the title of the window that you are, uh, that you that you want to upload. Okay. It, I mean to say if you are going to use this particular one, okay, it's up to you, it's a generic function, uh, you can use it, it across anywhere and the only thing is, for most of the objects, I mean, for most of the this file uploads, generally this this will be same. If it is not same, of course, this function is not going to work. Okay, it's a kind of hard coded this one, like uh, the text box and this uh, open button. Most of the it might be any anywhere. Generally, uh, it might be any file upload. Generally, this will be this will be same. If it is not going to be common like this, if it is not uh, the uh, object properties are not like this. Then in that case we cannot use this. Okay, you can use this function also. Now what you it's simple. Uh, you have to do. Let's say let me say save as. Let me save here in. Uh, I'm saying file upload function, and now I'll save this particular script only. Now we have to convert into executable file. Here uh, you have to say tools build. Okay. And uh, let me write this step here. Build a program, right? Here in the uh, this site editor under tools menu. 
uh, what is that uh, build you have to select this build okay to convert into uh, a 3 script into executable file now if you go to this particular folder now you can okay now see there is executable uh, uh, file file upload function now we'll make use of this file upload function here okay now here we have to give this path the path of the uh, file here in the script itself so it's a kind of a generic and we are passing uh, this file uh, this path of the file and the title of the file uh, we are passing from the script here itself okay uh, so here we have to get the uh, part of the file and here you have to give the title of the uh, title of the window ok see here now I have changed uh, into this file upload function now I will try to execute this let me close this here again it has been uploaded ok so it is a kind of a generic function just it is the underlying concept will be the same it's here we wrote in a straightforward way here we wrote in a straightforward way here it is written in a function that is it ok but this is all about uh, file uploads and as I said it is a, just a concept to handle the windows controls uh, whenever we come across any, any application like here it, this concept mainly used in the uh, file upload and, and moreover uh, this one uh, when we launch when we try to launch any application where we get a, a login credentials login window in that case you can use this particular concept ok uh, here uh, one of the note is here you may need to uh, turn off the antivirus For, uh, for for some uh, during the execution of the script I can say first give it a try uh, without doing anything just try to execute it ok if you could not then uh, turn off it ok Basically, uh, uh, antivirus generally suspects it's a kind of a malfunction. It is a kind of a virus, so it is not actually allowing. Okay. Here, uh, uh, not only here in Java. Okay, first of all, let me give a brief intro here. Say, whenever we want to connect to any database, we don't have any direct mechanism here in Selenium Web Driver. Okay, uh, there is no mechanism or concept in Selenium Web Driver to connect to the database. Okay, we don't have any direct mechanism to connect to the database. Here it depends. It depends on the language that we are using. Okay. It means, uh, say here in our case we are learning, uh, we are using Selenium with Java, right? So it depends on the Java. 
it, it is purely related to Java only. So there is no uh, in Selenium web driver, we don't have any direct mechanism to connect to the database. Okay. So it might be anywhere. It might be here in Java, it might be here in QTP, it might be any any language, it might be um, this one, C sharp. The concept will be same. Anywhere, anywhere generally the concept will be same. There will be uh, mainly uh, three steps. Three steps. Of course, these steps may be vary uh, based on the language. Here, first thing is we have to establish the connection to the database. Okay. First, we have to establish the connection to the database. Then, hit the query. Hit the query. And basically, if we hit the select query, it is going to it is going to uh, give a, a, re, a set of requests back to us. Say if you if you hit the uh, insert query again for us uh, there is nothing to do. Okay, insert query or uh, uh, update query or delete query. If you perform these operations, there is nothing. Actually, I can say two steps only: establish the connection and hit the query. That's it. But if we if we hit a select query. Okay, that we are going to have uh, some record set. Record set or uh, you will call result set based on the type of the language. Okay, here in Java we call it as a result set. Okay, so this uh, basically this comes into picture. If we hit, if we hit the, if we hit a select query. Okay. If you would have hit a select query, this record set or result set comes into the picture. Okay. So mainly, uh, as I said, it, it is a generic concept. It can be a VB script, it can be a Java, it can be C sharp. Generally, we will have uh, these three things. And establishing a connection will vary based on the type of uh, language that we have chosen. Let's say if you choose uh, C sharp, the way it would be different. The Java, the way it would be different. But ultimately, we are going to establish a connection here. Okay. So here in this, uh, here in Java, how to establish a connection means there is something called uh, class dot for name, and here we have to give the uh, driver of the DB that we want to connect. Basically, here it is a class for name is something uh, it is something like let me give class dot for me it is something like import like a import sta import statement but there is a difference okay uh, basically uh, the difference between this uh, class dot for name and this import is here import in the sense we have been using this import right okay so here there is something called class for name okay it is like an import statement the difference between import and uh, class for name is import will be invoked or import statement be, will be basically used when we actually use that statement in our uh, program i know you did not understand what i said what i'm saying here uh, for example here i'm using i'm uh, declaring a variable right web driver uh, o browser okay it means till this point basically this import will not be uh, will not be used okay till it encounters this particular statement till it encounters this this particular statement it is not going to uh, it is not going to uh, uh, make use of this particular import of course here we wrote the script here but during the execution of the script till it encounters this particular line this will not make use of this, uh, it is not going to make use of this particular import here. Okay. And even the other example here, if you see here, uh, open dot selenium dot by, it means till it encounters this line, till this line, till this part, this import, this particular import will not be make use of in the background, uh, in the background of the program, I mean while executing the script, uh, till it encounters this by, it is not going to uh, make use of, it's just a statement, that's it. But it is not going to be uh, used. It is not going to be referred in the Java in the in the Java runtime environment. And that is going to be this particular statement will actually used whenever it comes across this statement. 
Right. Okay. Whereas this class for me, whether you use it or whether you don't use it, first it will load into the it will it will be loaded into the Java runtime environment. Okay. So it is a essential here in if you want to connect to the database, uh, first we have to load it. Okay. We cannot actually we cannot call it like a, a method here. So here the prerequisite is here. We have to use something called class dot for me. By using this, it will load. Uh, the driver will be loaded into Java runtime environment. Okay. So basically, by using this statement, first before uh, we actually make use of uh, the related things, we are basically uh, loading a particular uh, driver here. What is this driver? Basically, driver is nothing but uh, uh, it's a software which helps in connecting, which helps in connecting to the database from um, uh, editors or I can say this uh, these programming this like Java programming or it might be VB programming. Okay, I mean to say here it's a kind of uh, uh, intermediate software. It is a kind of a interface in between uh, database and the program. Okay, say say this is a database. Okay, so this is a data. This is a database, and say this is our program, or it might be. Uh, some toad. I hope you know toad. Okay. Say so it, it can be a toad. It may be toad. It may be a Java program. It might be a VB program. Okay. Say so this is the database and this is the program. And to establish uh, the the connection between this and this, there should be some medium. Then that medium is nothing but the driver. Okay. So this is called as a driver, which helps in connecting to the database, and this is the database, and this is our program. This is the program. Okay. So here, uh, first before we actually establish the connection, first we have to load the driver. So we are loading the driver here, and after that we are going to establish the connection here. There is uh, something called driver manager. Here in uh, uh, Java we have something called driver manager. Dot get connection. By using this, basically we can uh, establish the connection, and here we have to give the database details. Okay. Uh, yeah, when I said database details means based on type of uh, based on the type of database, okay, based on the type of the database, these details will vary. Generally, uh, in uh, some, most of the places, uh, people used to call it as the URL of the database, but it's not exactly URL of the database. Of course, URL of the database in the sense it, we have to give the um, server name, server name, port, and uh, if, uh, if the database having any user ID, you have to give the user ID, password. All those details will be given here. Okay, and based on the type type of database and the uh, the sequence the, and the order, the driver file will varies. Okay, based on the type of the database, the driver, uh, the sequence of these things will vary. Okay, uh, I think I have some set of things here. I'll show. So here, uh, first we are going to load the uh, one minute. Load the driver file. Okay, and after that, establish the connection. Connection based on the type of uh, type of type of database okay so if it is a sql server if it is a oracle database 
if it is a DB2 database. So be, accordingly, this uh, sequence will vary here. Okay. So it's like uh, we, are, we successfully established the connection. Okay. After that, we are going to hit the query. And hit the query means here first we have to uh, uh, there is a logic to create the statement. Create statement and then uh, there is a method to execute a statement. Okay. There is uh, first we have to create the statement. Create the statement in the sense here uh, uh, we have to prepare our uh, SQL query. Okay, and then execute that SQL query over here. Okay, so here as again I say, as I said, if it is generally if it is insert, update, delete here itself it is going to be end because after that we don't we don't need to do anything right. Insert means it is going to insert the record here in the database. So you have to hit that insert query here. That's it. If you want to update anything, you just uh, mention the update query here, and it is going to update the database. Okay. If you want to delete anything, you just mention the delete query here. It is going to delete. But if you write a select query, it is going to it is going to give a return. Uh, it is going to return uh, something back to us. Okay. So this one is here. So by using this uh, result set, what we can do here, uh, uh, we can uh, execute. Uh, we can find. I mean, basically, it is go it is a this result set is nothing but it's a kind of a table structure. It's a kind of a two-dimensional array. It means it is something like this. A result set looks like this. Okay. Here we will have some set of columns. We will have some set of rows. Okay. So uh, we will write some logic like to read the data from here in result set. We will write some set of logics here. Okay. Now, actually here uh, I don't have any database in here in my machine. Okay. What I try to do here, I try to connect. I try to treat this Excel as a database, and I try to connect. Okay, to connect to the Excel, okay, it can be done in two ways. One is uh, one is DSN using DSN, and second one is. Uh, using DSN less. It means uh, here DSN means uh, we uh, it's a data source data source name okay. here actually if you look at here uh, if you go ODBC like this it is going to show something like Microsoft ODBC Administrator, and here as part of uh, System DSN, here basically we have to create a DSN. DSN means it's a kind of a, a pool. Uh, it's kind of a uh, actually uh, we are saying that here in my system uh, we are treating an Excel as a database here. When you say here basically we, uh, here in this ODBC Data Source Administrator, here we can treat one particular Excel as a data uh, database here. Okay, when you say using DSN means that here we will come here, we will come uh, what do we see this data source administrator and here we can uh, click on add. Basically what happened here I uh, somehow I could not, uh, I don't have this Excel driver. Here I said uh, we need to have the driver right. I, I was saying uh, from the program if you want to connect to the database, I have Excel is like a database. Now I have the program, I have the database. But I don't have the driver. Uh, I tried to install, but somehow I could not install properly. Okay, here I don't have the uh, driver, so that is the reason I, I cannot treat Excel uh, uh, Excel also as a, a database here. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. So I here uh, I don't have any database. Okay, I tried to um, treat this Excel as a database, but somehow I could not make it happen because I don't have the driver. Here uh, Java requires the driver. Without driver, uh, it cannot. Uh, it cannot connect to the database. Okay, so however, here a DSN uh, using DSN using DSN less means here uh, using DSN means we have to come here. We have to come to this place. Uh, where is this ODBC right? Yep, you have to open this 
uh, ODBC and you have to go to system uh, DSN. Here you have to create a DSN. Basically there will be here, uh, basically if it is Excel is properly installed, here we would have get Excel driver. Select the Excel driver, click next and where you can um, uh, uh, browse for a file. Okay, where you can browse for a file uh, that you want to treat as the Excel and you can give us some database name for that. You can give any uh, name for that Excel. Once you create the name, you can use that name here in the program. That's it. That is like a DSN generally in the older days, in the, we used to uh, establish the connection to the Excel using the DSN. But now uh, we are, uh, nowadays generally no one uses this DSN. We can use the DSN less. Okay, by using DSN less, we can establish the connection. In the sense, we don't need to go here. We don't need to uh, you know, create any anything over here. We don't need to do, do this. Okay. Now here, yep, this is the Java program that uh, I just copied here. Uh, and here I was saying uh, based on the type of the database, uh, this uh, uh, the details will vary, right? I was saying this. Yep, this generally we call it as a URL format. It's here, JDBC. MySQL, Oracle, DB2, my uh, Sybase. Here, the script talk will talk about this uh, Excel. Let me copy this. These are all the imports which are not required. Now, see here, I was talking about a class dot for name. As I said, it is like a uh, import. It is like this import, but there is a slight difference between this import and this. So here, it, before uh, when you say class dot for name, there uh, here itself it is going to load the uh, this particular uh, driver file here. Okay. And this driver file, this sun dot odbc, jdbc dot odbc, this jdbc odbc driver, this varies based on the type of the database that we are connecting here. Okay, here the, that you can find out here in this table. Okay, so if you are connecting to Oracle database, you have to use this. If you are connecting to DB2, you have to use this. Okay, so based on the type of the database, we have to uh, load this uh, this driver file here. Okay. And after this, here I am saying my DB, right? Generally, we can say my URL or uh, URL DB URL. Generally, uh, here in um, I can see connection string. In other, uh, say, in, uh, if it is a QDP script, where it, is, it would be called as a connection string. Here in Java, we call it as a URL. Okay. So here uh, I have uh, two logics here. And this is the uh, uh, DSN less connection. I think both are the DSN less connections it seems. Okay. Here, uh, yeah, see here, uh, DSN less connection means here we can directly give the path of the Excel file that we want to connect. Okay. Here we can give the directly the path of the Excel uh, that we want to connect to the database. So that here directly we can connect to the database. But it, what I'm saying here, it, it is it is not working in my machine. Because I uh, this uh, this uh, driver is not being installed properly, okay. As it is not installed properly, it could not connect properly, okay. It's not executing actually. Yeah. So after this, see here first uh, here uh, we prepared this DB URL, and by using connection dot connection object, see here driver dot manage, driver manager dot get connection. So uh, it is basically establishing a connection here, and then here uh, see here. This is a statement that we are creating a statement object and for the statement object I am saying execute query and here we are passing the query. As I have used the select query here, it is going to give uh, some output back to us. That is the reason we are capturing into some result set object. Okay. As we have used select query here, we have used, uh, we are capturing into result set uh, variable. Okay. Say if you would have used other than select case, we don't need to have this. Here itself the program will end actually. Okay. 
if you use select query it is going to return some set of data and data that data will be captured here into this rs uh, here we call it as a result set okay here rs dot next basically here we have something called rs dot next means if you remember i said it is going to be a record set and it is represents a kind of a table structure it, it, it will represent like this okay so here uh, it will have a number of rows okay so when you say this rs dot next means uh, it is going to do to the next row okay so this uh, while rs dot next means till it get false it means when it is going to get false whenever it comes to the end of the uh, end of the records here it is going to be false okay till it gets true it is going to be execute while rs dot next means this is going to be true till it it uh, reaches the uh, end of the records okay and if you observe here here we are getting the column count to get the column count we have said get metadata metadata it means basically uh, uh, there will be some kind of some um, in the record set uh, if there is any junk data that can be removed and that basically treats only the columns and then we are getting the column count and we are repeating we are uh, iterating here mainly here is just observe here get string of i okay get string of i which is helps in uh, reading the data here okay let me do one thing let me mention the uh, important methods here in our class transcript rs dot next uh, basically which is helps in um, um, it moves it moves to the next record okay and here this helps in read a particular uh, uh, this helps in read a particular field here we call it as a field or in general terms i can say cell data okay and then here which helps in finding the number of uh, columns here that's it these are the three main things that we have to remember with respect to record set okay so here why we need to connect to the database from selenium yes sometimes there might be a requirement like we may, we will get something in the front end something will be shown in the front end and we may need to validate uh, the, the value with the front end with the uh, database okay so in that case uh, we use this uh, this logic here okay sometimes we may need to validate whatever showing in the front end maybe we have to retrieve that and we have to validate with the database values in that case basically we will connect to the database is yes, that generally we call it as a database testing okay of course database testing it's uh, altogether again bit different here in general selenium we will come across this kind of scenarios uh, if you have a front end in the front end if you have any data we'll compare uh, we'll retrieve and we'll compare with the database related things okay and how to retrieve the data from a uh, front end how to retrieve the data what are the different uh, ways to retrieve the data from the front end here in selenium Yeah, that's correct to know what about others how to retrieve the data from the uh, front end what else uh, apart from the get text any other things yeah, that's correct you know okay, by using get attribute and get text we can retrieve the text from the application uh, from the application okay K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, 
one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes h2k emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide for a free demo class visit us at h2kemphasis.com